Business intelligence is one of the more important but overlooked digital technologies for digital transformations. And what I want to talk about today is an independent ranking of the top 10 business intelligence systems that are available to you in the marketplace. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients through their digital transformation journeys. And the reason business intelligence has become so important in recent years is because organizations are sitting on massive amounts of data over the years. They've automated their operations over the past couple decades. They've captured data and collected data along the way. They've hoarded data, but they haven't quite figured out yet how to use that data in a meaningful way. So business intelligence systems are a way to take that data and aggregate it and slice and dice it and report in different ways that allow you to have better visibility and understanding into your operations and provide more meaning into what that data means so you're able to make more informed decisions. So what I want to talk about today are what are those top 10 business intelligence systems that you should be considering to help provide those analytical and in business intelligence capabilities that you're looking for. And to start, I want to talk about the methodology we use. The methodology we used is based on a couple of things. First of all, we're completely independent and technology agnostic. So my firm and I aren't affiliated with any of these software vendors. We have no dog in the fight, so to speak. And we are simply basing this on our objective understanding based on helping clients evaluate and implement the technology. Now, secondly, in terms of the actual methodology we use, we base it on a number of different criteria. The most important ones are the biggest criteria we use are market adoption. How many customers does the product have? What is the overall ease of use? How flexible is it? What is the overall capability? And also overall business value relative to the cost. Those are just some of the considerations we looked at and evaluated when ranking this top 10 list. So without further ado, let's dive into the top 10 list. Coming in at number 10 is MicroStrategy, a system that's been around for a long time. It's a, it's a great business intelligence tool that many organizations use. And the reason it comes in at number 10 is for a few reasons. First of all, it provides very strong dashboard. So it's easy to provide summarized dashboard capability that you might be looking for. And it also allows you to do so in a way that's very centralized. So you can consolidate data across your enterprise, especially if you're a multinational or you have different business units, different locations, it allows you to have visibility in a centralized sort of way. It also provides real-time data analytics. So as data is accumulating and as performance is changing and happening, you can actually have real-time data visibility into what's happening in your operations and you'll have that sort of transparency. It's also highly customizable. So if it's a product that can be molded to fit your specific needs, but at the same time, it's also easy to use out of the box if you decide not to customize it. So you sort of get the best of both worlds there. You can either use it as it was built, or if you have more complex needs or more unique needs, it's relatively easy to customize. And then finally, the mobile app is very user-friendly compared to some of the other systems in our top 10 list. So that if you're looking for mobile capabilities, that can be a very strong feature for the product. Now, just as is the case with all of the systems in our top 10 list, there are some downsides to this product as well. First of all, the administration of the product is not as intuitive and user-friendly as some of the other systems in our top 10 list. Second of all, the licensing cost is relatively expensive when you compare it to other options in the market. So it is going to be the more expensive or one of the more expensive options. There's incompatibilities between versions. So if you're using different versions in different parts of your organizations, or if you upgrade to a newer version, it can be difficult to learn and it can be difficult to deploy throughout your organization. And finally, the development support provided by the vendor is not as strong as some of the other systems in the marketplace. But all that being said is enough to land MicroStrategy at number 10 on our list. Coming in number nine on our list is SAP Business Objects. Business Objects is a product that SAP bought a few years ago, and it can be used by SAP customers. And even if you're not an SAP customer, it can still be deployed by your organization. One thing I'll note just as a caveat is that even if you're using SAP S4 HANA, Business Objects is not the only business intelligence product that you can use, but it's commonly sold along with S4 HANA. Now, some of the reasons why Business Objects comes in number nine on our list is partially because it provides a full breadth of business intelligence capability. So there's a lot of robust breadth to what sorts of analytics and predictive analytics, business intelligence that you can do with business objects. It also has a very strong user interface or graphical user interface. It's easy to share information via Microsoft Office, so it integrates pretty well with Microsoft Office if you're an Office 365 shop. It also provides self-service tools. So if you're looking for people outside of your IT department to be able to create dashboards and reports and business intelligence capabilities, this is a product that's very strong in that area. 
And if you're an SAP S4 HANA user, it integrates very well with S4 HANA. Although, like I said before, you don't have to be an SAP customer or an S4 HANA ERP user to be able to get the full capabilities of the product. It provides a high number of data source integrations. So all types of systems, especially if you have legacy systems or other systems outside of your core enterprise technologies, it can provide from a multitude of different sources to help integrate and tie together and consolidate all that data. And finally, it has a fair amount of flexibility when compared to other systems in the marketplace. So it's another one that can be tailored to fit the needs of your organization. Now, what about the downside risks or the things that don't work as well with business objects? First of all, it's a more expensive option. It's gonna be a higher cost option in the marketplace, much like many of SAP products are. But again, if you're looking for broader and more robust capability, it might be worth it. It might be more business value there, but the cost is higher and that's something to be aware of. There have been complaints among our client base that the customer support isn't strong and that there's something lacking in the level of customer support provided by business objects when compared to other products in the market. And finally, there have been some performance issues. So larger transaction loads can slow the software down. The reporting performance and quality has been questionable at times with some of our clients. So those are some of the things to consider as you also look at the strengths of the product. But overall, that's enough to land business objects at number nine on our list. Coming in at number eight on our list is IBM Cognos, another common business intelligence tool in the marketplace. Some of the strengths of this product include the ability to have multiple queries in a single report. There's an ability to create shortcuts with the product. So if you want shortcuts for reusable or repeated reports that you run, on a recurring basis, that can be a, a strong capability. There's customizable dashboards. So if you're looking for specific visual representations or dashboards for specific sets of data, it can be very strong in that area. In addition, reporting and formats of the reporting can be visualized and presented in different ways. And it also provides a separate test sandbox too. So separate test and production sandboxes. So you can really test out some of the business intelligence capabilities before you roll it out to larger populations. Now, as far as the downside risks of the product or the weaknesses of the product, there's a few of them. First of all, if you're looking for auto modeling, if you're looking to auto model data sets and those sorts of reports, that's a weakness of the product that it, other products might provide better. The customization is relatively difficult and expensive, so it's gonna be a little bit more complex to maintain and it can create some complexities and cost issues for some organizations. The enterprise price points are relatively high as well. So buying the product and deploying the product is more costly than some of the other BI tools in the marketplace. And finally, the learning curve is relatively steep. So it's not as easy to learn. It's not as easy to maintain as some of the other BI tools in the market. And that's enough to land IBM Cognos at number eight on our list. Coming in at number seven on our list is a product called Tibco. Tibco is another commonly used BI tool, even if you haven't heard of it. And some of the strengths of the product include the fact that it's highly customizable. It's easy to use, it's robust. There's a lot of broad capabilities that the product provides. It's easy to map data. So as you look to multiple sources and as you look at how you're gonna tie data together across multiple sources, it's very strong in that area. And finally, the Tibco vendor also provides excellent customer service we found compared to other systems in the marketplace. So if those things are important to you, then Tibco could be something you consider. Now, as far as the downside risk, there's a few of them. First, the cloud offering is relatively immature compared to some of the other on-premise and more established types of systems out there in the BI space. So that's something to consider. There's also an issue of synchronization and relatively slow synchronization from multiple data sources. So if you find that it's important to your organization to have real-time data analysis, it's gonna be a bit of a lag if you have multiple data sources or it can be a bit of a lag compared to other systems in the market. And there've also been issues with bugs and errors with the product as well. And part of that is because of the complexity that the product requires. But having said all of that, that's enough to land Tibco at number seven on our list. Coming in at number six is Oracle EPM or Enterprise Performance Management. And Oracle has always been pretty strong in the business intelligence space back to the days of when they had acquired Hyperion. That was a common system that was used for business intelligence purposes. And ever since then, they've been very strong in the space. And now with enterprise performance management, they're still just as strong as ever. And this is a product that's used often by larger enterprises. Some of the strengths of the product include a few things. Compared to some of the more scalable and robust systems in the market, it's relatively easy to set up and configure. There's a relative ease of use that can make it easier to use, especially outside of IT support, if that's important to you. Compared to other systems in the market, there's relatively low downtime. The reports are highly customizable, so there's a lot of flexibility in the ways you can create the reports. And it's a complete business intelligence solution. So especially when you combine it with the core Oracle Cloud ERP solution or other Oracle products like CRM and supply chain management, it ties and integrates really well with those systems as well as even non-Oracle products. But overall, 
the Oracle EPM solution provides very broad BI tools and capabilities, even if you're not an existing Oracle customer. Now there's a few downside risks as well. One of them is cost. It is one of the more costly, one of the more expensive BI tools in the marketplace. You can only deploy EPM via the cloud now, whereas in the past you used to be able to deploy on-premise if that was important to you. So if you have a lot of on-premise solutions that you're trying to tie together with data from the cloud, that can be a challenge as well, although it can be done. And finally, the user interface isn't as strong and intuitive as some of the other systems in the marketplace. But all of this being said is enough to land Oracle EPM at number six on our list. Coming in number five on our list is a product called Information Builders. And Information Builders is one of the more easier to use products in the marketplace. It's highly configurable and easy to use compared to other BI tools. The reporting is highly customizable too. So if you need more than simple configuration, you can actually customize and do more extensive changes to the BI tools to fit your needs. It's also easy to integrate with other platforms too via web focus. So those are some of the strengths of the product. Now, as far as the weaknesses, there's a few of them. First of all, the newer versions of the product restrict some of the coding abilities and capabilities that you have available to you. Second of all, it's difficult to export files in different formats. It also has a bit of an outdated user interface, so it's not as intuitive as some of the other systems in the marketplace. And finally, we found that the customer support isn't as strong as some of the other BI vendors in the marketplace. But all that being said, that's enough to land information builders at number five on our list. Coming in number four on our list is a product called SciSense. And this is another product that has a lot of larger organizations that are deploying the product as well as mid-size organizations as well. Now, some of the strengths of the product include the fact that it's highly customizable. So it's another product that can be tailored to fit the needs of your BI requirements. It's also a highly innovative vendor. So SciSense invests a lot in R&D and innovation. So it's considered one of the more innovative products in the BI space. It has a very solid architecture too. So if you're looking to integrate with other solutions and tie together multiple data sources across multiple platforms, that's something that's very strong and very capable of doing. And finally, they're known for their customer support at SciSense. So that's another consideration as you think about what your needs are for your BI tool. Now, as far as the downsides, there's a few of them as well. First is that there's a steep learning curve, which is the case with the more robust and the more complex BI tools out there, but that's the price you pay for having that level of robustness and complexity to go along with that. The product also requires you to be running on a Windows server. So you must be running the products on a Windows server in order to support the product. So that may or may not be a problem depending on what your IT shop looks like or what your back office infrastructure looks like. And then finally, the out of the box reporting and visualizations is a bit basic. So it's gonna require you to do more of the manipulation and more of the creation of what you want those reports to be. And some of the other systems or the other BI tools in the market have stronger capabilities when it comes to out of the box reports and BI tools that you can just use off the shelf. So all those things being considered are enough to land SciSense in number four on our list. Coming in at number three on our list is a product called Tableau, one of the more commonly known BI tools in the marketplace. It's used by thousands of organizations throughout the world. And part of the reason why Tableau rates so high on our top 10 list is partially because of the visualization is so strong. There's so many different things you can do with the data visualization, which is important to a lot of organizations. There's also a simplicity and ease of use that makes it adoptable and highly leveraged by organizations that use this product as its BI tool. It allows you to leverage multiple data sources. So if you've got multiple systems or a plethora of systems you're trying to tie together for multiple data sources, Tableau can be a great tool for that. The mobile aspect of Tableau is very strong as well. So if you're trying to look at mobile devices or use mobile devices to access these reports and visualizations, Tableau is very strong at that. And then finally, there's a very strong community, a strong ecosystem that supports Tableau. So if you're looking for support or peers or consultants, whatever you may need that can support the product, Tableau is very strong. So those are some of the strengths of the product. Now, as far as the weaknesses, there's a few of them as well. First of all, the cost structure is relatively high. It's gonna cost you more than some of the other systems in the marketplace. The cost is relatively inflexible too. So in terms of what types of licensing we can negotiate for our clients, we found the Tableau is actually more difficult to negotiate and less likely to provide price breaks and more reasonable pricing. And then finally, probably the biggest liability of using Tableau is just the complexity and the support required from your IT department or from some sort of IT resource to help support and maintain the system longer term. So it's something that just requires a certain degree of sophistication and maturity within your organization, within your IT function to make sure you can support it. So if you're a smaller organization, that might be a big deal or a deal breaker. But if you're a larger organization with a fairly robust or sophisticated IT staff, that may not be as much of an issue, but certainly something you wanna consider as you consider the product. So all that being said, that's enough to land Tableau at number three on our list. 
Coming in at number two on our list is another well-known BI provider, and that is SAS. And SAS is a product that is relatively easy to use and relatively intuitive compared to some of the other BI tools in our ranking. And that's not just in terms of creating the visualizations and the reports that you might be looking for, but also when it comes to debugging, it's relatively easy to work your way through some of the technical complexities and technical issues that you might run into when deploying the product. Data security is also very strong with the product as well. So if you're looking to really lock down data and make sure you manage and control how data is deployed and who can see what, that's something that SAS is very good at. And there's also a plethora of tested algorithms too. So if you're looking for predictive analytics, for example, there's algorithms built within the product that can help you deploy those sorts of analytics. So those are some of the strengths of the products, but let's talk about some of the weaknesses as well. Like some of the other more robust systems in the marketplace, this is one of the more high cost solutions. So SAS is generally gonna cost you more than some of the other systems in the marketplace. If you're looking for text mining, that's something else that can be difficult. If you're looking to grab qualitative text and translate that into some sort of visualization or some sort of report or analytic, that's something that's fairly limited with SAS. And then finally, if you're looking for graphic representation and creating those really visually appealing dashboards, that's not SAS's strength, at least relative to other systems in our top 10 list. But all that being said, that's enough to land SAS at number two on our list of top 10 BI tools. Coming in at number one on our list is Microsoft Power BI. And the biggest reason why Power BI is number one on our list is simply the adoption rate of the product. That along with the fact that it integrates so well with Microsoft products and so many organizations out there use Microsoft products. So those two things alone are enough to propel it up toward the top of the list, but there's also other strengths as well that are worth considering. For example, it's also more cost effective than many of the providers in the marketplace. So compared to some of the other BI tools we've talked about so far in this top 10 list, it is relatively cost effective. The product itself is very easy to use, much like many of Microsoft products. And it's also a familiar look and feel too, just because it's something that people tend to intuitively pick up because it is a Microsoft product and it tends to have more of that Microsoft look and feel, which a lot of people feel very comfortable with. And in addition to integrating with Microsoft products, it can integrate with hundreds of different data sources, even if they're non Microsoft data sources. So that's another strength of the product. And finally, some of the custom visualizations that we've seen our clients do with Power BI is extremely powerful. So that's something worth considering as well. Now, even though it's number one on our list, Microsoft Power BI also has its weaknesses as well, things that may or may not make a difference in your evaluation of potential BI tools. First of all, the user interface is a bit bulky. Even though there is a familiarity to it, it's relatively easy to use. Some of it is not as intuitive as you might expect from a Microsoft product. So that's one consideration. The other big consideration is that data handling capacity for the free version is relatively limited. So if you're looking for more complex types of capabilities within that area, that's something that's relatively limited if you're using the free version. But if you're working outside of the free version, the data visualization capabilities are just as strong, if not stronger than some of the other systems in our top 10 list. So all those things being considered are enough to land Microsoft Power BI at number one on our list. So I hope this top 10 list has helped provide a sense of the types of different BI tools that are out there at your disposal to help provide some of the predictive analytics and reporting and data analysis and business intelligence that you're looking for. And for more information about how to transform your organization and to go through a digital transformation, whether it's related to BI or any other sort of enterprise technology, I encourage you to download some of the resources I provided links to below. Most particularly, I would encourage you to download the 2021 Digital Transformation Report, which is an annual report we put out each year that identifies transformation best practices and provides software rankings and reviews much like this one to help you through your digital transformation journey. So I hope you found this information useful and I hope you have a great day.